Greetings to my melanated brothers and sisters. We are truly living in some exciting times. We are living in times where things are being exposed, being revealed, even in a time where our elevated ancestors have returned and are speaking and working through us. Welcome. We are gods. I would like to read a couple Bible verses out of the King James Version. Now, we know that the Bible has been heavily, heavily tampered with. And we know that it has been manipulated so much, taken from our spirituality, our culture. And they had to, those who interpreted the Bible, they had to include themselves. So these two verses that I'm going to read, I'm going to read them exactly as they are written in the Bible. And then I'm going to just kind of expound on a few things to break it down so that we can understand what's happening. The first Bible verse that I want to read is out of the book of 1 Peter, 4th chapter, verse 17. New Testament, Greek. Okay. The Old Testament is Hebrew. All right. So it reads, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first began at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? Gospel, God, spell. This is what the church is under, a spell, a curse. This is why their eyes cannot be open to who they truly are. Again, it was purposely done, orchestrated very well. But the word I want to focus on is this word judgment. When we see and hear this word judgment, the first thing we think about is damnation, a fall, um, you know, something uh, terrible that's getting ready to happen. And look at how it's written here. It says, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Now, of course, they changed this God. They put God there. But when you're talking about really what this is, is really saying, it's the most high, the creator. So nini na nini. Tata nzambi. Baba mungu. Okay? It's talking about the creator of all. And it's not house of God, but it's his children. Bananzambe, the family of God, the family of the most high. This is what it's talking about. So when you look at this word judgment, I want to bring out two definitions according to the Webster Dictionary. And then I want to bring out a de definition according to the Bible definition. So Webster Dictionary, the first definition says, the ability to make considered decisions or come to sensible conclusions. The second definition is a misfortune or calamity viewed as a divine punishment. That's where a lot of us first go to, that second definition, divine punishment. The Bible definition, even according to this particular scripture, because this definition is written in the Greek or given a Greek definition of this word, judgment, Again, written in the New Testament, the Greek portion of the Bible. It says to decide, give a verdict, declare an opinion. So what this is saying is for us, the children of the Most High, is it is time for us to make a decision. What are you going to do? 
Now we see what's going on. We hear what's going on. Some of us are blown away. Some of us are just sitting back like, yeah, okay, I knew it. But for the rest of us, we have to make a decision. We have to decide what are we going to do? Are we just going to go on with the whole hum and deal with what the church is teaching us? Or are we truly going to search for our spirituality and regain it and return to who we truly are? Because remember, in Genesis, the Most High said that he gave this earth to us to be our dominion. It is our dominion. For us to rule. But we failed. We allowed the aliens. Our enemy. We gave it to them. To take over. And look what happened to us. But we are returning. We are waking up. So we need you our melanated brothers and sisters to arise and stand and take your rightful place. The next verse that I want to read is this. Psalm 82, verses six through seven. And I will read it as it is written in the King James Version. I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. A prince is not a king. A princess is not a queen. But he said, you shall fall like a prince. But if we do not decide to return to who we truly are, we will die like men. So I say, we have a decision to make. We have a choice to make. There's an old saying that we used to say back in the day. And we said, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Know who you are, my melanated brothers and sisters. Know who you are, who you were created to be, and that this earth is your dominion. Take it back. It belongs to you. The Most High gave it to us. We are God. 